Yes, sir. Over here. <laughs> he said, I'm uh, way up high, man. <laughs> 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 I said, are you coming? Yeah, don't worry about it. <laughs> Pretty sure at this point, Ovid realized he effed up. Bonjour. Well, here we go again. Day two. Let's get her ready to rumble. Gents are all getting their stuff together here. Does he have room for it? I think so, yeah. Morning, boys. Good? Really nice stay here at uh, Motel Internationale in uh, Point of La Croix. We had a good uh, dinner last night, good breakfast this morning. Sleds are all performing well, everything's working. A few mishaps yesterday, which I'll talk about in a little bit. And uh, we're gonna get some gas and get off rolling on day two here, which is a 300 kilometer day uh, to Chandler. We're gonna meet up with my old buddy Kirby and uh, haven't seen him in years. Used to ride with him back in the day. He's actually local to Gas Bay. He grew up, grew up here. He's a lobster fisherman. Awesome guy. So we're gonna meet him for uh, for some lunch, and they'll probably hang out with us for the rest of the day. Should be a good run. Well, good morning, everybody. Welcome to day two. We are uh, just making our way uh, from Point Delacroix. Just leaving town and it is snowing today. Haven't seen a lot of snow yet this year, so it's great to actually see some white stuff. Well, we're all uh, still here. Everyone's uh, had a great night last night and excited for the ride today. Got 306K planned to get us to Chandler. We saw the groomer uh, as we were coming in last night leaving, so I can already tell everything's gonna be mint. Took a quick look on the iMoto Nege app and everything looks uh, just cherry. I'm expecting, uh, I think they said about 10 centimeters today, so it's gonna be a snowy ride. Got lots to tell you about, because every day is an adventure and boy was it an adventure yesterday. Whew! Man, it's tough with 12 guys on the trail, just trying to keep everything in order is uh, not an easy task. Jeff, who's actually supposed to be leading. I think he made a wrong turn up there. So we had a lot of wrong turns yesterday. Let's call it what it is. I mean, geez, you'd think with all the technology and everything that we would like be able to figure it all out, but it was tough. And, uh, It was definitely not easy, but we made it. Took us a couple of hours extra, but we made it. So let's see, because it's always, uh, you know, we always seem to run into issues on trips, right? Let's, let's try to recap what happened yesterday. So we have uh, one of the older guys in the group, 70 years old, this guy still rides, unbelievable. Like it was great that he's uh, he's still still giving her little trouble at night seeing, and I think he one turn he just couldn't make it, so he ended up going into the rhubarb. So we had to fish him out. No injuries, nothing wrong, all good. So that was one. Then our other buddy Randy, I'm pretty sure I think it was on the same corner. It was a tough one. It was definitely like a hairpin turn. Same thing into the rhubarb, so we had to pull him out too. And it wasn't even going fast, like it's not a fast corner. Uh, you just have to really turn to make it. And uh, that was a tough one. So that was fun. So we fished them out of the bush. And 
And then uh, at lunch, my climb jacket, brand new jacket, I think I've got like three rides on it, decided to uh, snap a zipper. So I had a lot of airflow on my ride from lunch back to the hotel. And uh, we couldn't fix it because it literally was snapped in half. Thank God Chris uh, said there was a place right across from the hotel he knew last year had a ton of climb gear. So I ended up picking up my new jacket. <laughs> and here's, here's how it's all meant to be. I couldn't believe it. Went in there this morning after breakfast and I said to the guy, I need a climb jacket. Please tell me you have something in an XL. He's like, one left one jacket left and it's my favorite color which is the, with the orange accents and it was 50% off $600 jacket got it for 295 bucks and then uh, the boys packed my uh, my old one away so we can send it back to climb for warranty it's kind of disappointing but it is what it is like I said on every trip things happen the one thing I don't bring backups of those uh, a spare jacket although I did have my other suit in the trailer back in uh, Riviera de Lou. But when you're on a tour, you're on a tour, so you can't really do anything. Oh man, well a bunch of laughs, I'll tell you. These guys are an absolute hoot. They put on big miles, these boys. They love to ride. And uh, it was really awesome that uh, they've had me along for this trip, because again, this has kind of been a bucket lister for me. So we are making our way on uh, 5 East. So basically it's like one major trail that kind of goes around, which is uh, the 5 East. And we're gonna make our way down through New Richmond for lunch. We're gonna lunch stop there where we're meeting my buddy Kirby and his friend. And from there, we're gonna continue along to, I think it's called Motel Fraser. And that's kind of our pit stop for uh, for tonight. 306k should be a beauty ride. Like I said, everything's fresh groomed. Should be minty, and I'm stoked. So I'm told, you know, we saw a little bit of mountain stuff yesterday, and again, I'm I'm all about. I love just going and riding beautiful areas, and I'm excited because uh, everybody's saying today we'll start to see lots of really cool scenery. So it's great to, to be here in the Gaspisi. We've got four more days of uh, touring planned and everyone's all stacked up with gas caddies and link bags and you name it. We got it. 12 900 turbos all working great. Especially mine. I got the special one. Actually, Jeff in front of me too, he's got a 210 MCX on his uh, as well, and it's running mint. Man, they just, constant grooming in Quebec, it's just beautiful. Trails are flat as a pancake. Bit dusty this morning just because it's cold. I think it was like minus 13 when we left. We probably already got a few centimeters that fell. I know it's starting to taper off now, but all tons of fresh snow on the trail. It's wicked. All right, so you can kind of start to see it. I mean, on the other side, we just came up a big mountain. So definitely starting to get into some really nice uh, riding conditions here. And it's, you know, it's a little bit of a slower pace today for sure. Yesterday was a lot of, uh, a lot of power line running and open fields and stuff as you're leaving uh, Riviera de Lou. And you know, once you get up this way, you're, you're kind of starting to get into the big mountains and, uh, pretty mellow pace for uh, for the ride and I think at the same time Chris is leading today so he's trying to make sure everybody stays together and just doing a great job of it so far <laughs> friggin power of this MCX kit is absolutely nuts lights out these sleds are so crazy when you put them in sport mode there's such a big difference between sport mode and, and kind of that regular normal mode. Man, do they haul. And it makes all kinds of crazy noises. It's wild. 
absolutely wild. I think even for guys who like, if you're not necessarily like the fastest rider, like I never claimed to be kind of the fastest rider in the group, but I'm a good rider and I ride a good clip. It still makes it so much more fun when you're going up and you can wheelie and basically catwalk over some of these these hills and stuff. It's it's a it's a riot. It's an absolute riot. The guys from Norway are uh, really having a great time too. This is again their first kind of real snowmobiling experience on Groom Trail. And what better place to do it than uh, you know put on 2000k in Quebec in the Gaspésie. So they're having an absolute blast. Chris is saying that uh, my snow flaps dragging. So again, with the smart shocks, uh, it's kind of a thing. Or you know, the rear springs. If you're carrying a lot of weight with you, and you know, I packed on a few pounds lately. So <laughs> that's what happens during snowmobile season. So he's going to put uh, some big boy springs on for me. I think I'm running at spring setting five and typically you kind of want to be around two or three so you don't wear out the springs as fast. Plus it'll jack up the back a bit and not drag the flaps. So it'll work better for, uh, for front end handling or overall handling of the sled. So we're going to get that all sorted out once I get back to, uh, back to uh, home base. Look at this, just gorgeous coming through here. Again, definitely way in the mountains now just beautiful a lot of talk about uh, smart shocks versus regular shocks on this trip I mean I, I love them I absolutely love them I think they're amazing they work awesome but uh, our buddy Randy here on the trip has one sled that just isn't working properly they think maybe possibly it wasn't set up you know initially but uh, who knows he says it's it just not working at all it's like super super soft almost like dragging so a lot of the guys on the trip today, uh, most of them probably have regular shocks. I think I'm one of few that actually has the smart shocks. And their only thing is like, they're just concerned if it breaks, how expensive it is to fix or how hard it is to maybe get a new shock. And I totally get it. I mean, one guy said he had a, a stick go through his suspension and it snapped the wire for the smart shock in the rear. I mean, that's kind of crazy if you think about it. I certainly would not be happy about that. Anyway, I've done my best, you know, I'm, I'm trying to be as uh, as careful as possible and, you know, it's uh, it's worked well for us so far, but I know definitely there's been guys that have had some issues with them. Some amazing views in through here. I think we're coming into a town now, I'm not sure exactly which one, it said back there about 10 clicks, so... I think this is it. Not our lunch stop, but just uh, going through a town here. Man, I tell you, the ups and downs in these mountains and the trail is awesome. It's just beautiful. Again, you can't really fly through here, but uh, you know, it's a really nice, comfortable kind of cruise. Just taking it all in. It's uh, it's pretty epic. And Chris is still telling me you ain't seen nothing yet. I'm like, okay, let's go. That's uh, Mr. John Tate in front of me there. He's leading us, and then uh, one of the Norwegians behind him. And John is a TVM customer. I believe he's a good friend of uh, Dave's, Dave Vincent, which is kind of cool. <coughs> yeah, not really sure where we are, but about to find out. Beautiful little town nestled into the mountains here. She's a little warm today too. Definitely warmer out. Au Port du Platin. There's another big crew here. And then 
and back into the mountains. Wow, sweet. <laughs> wow, super cool. You saw a view of the, the ocean back there. It looked really nice coming down that last mountain there. Holy jeez, this thing's wild. Chris, I don't know what you did to this thing, but it, all it does is go shh. And I go yippee. There you go. Just coming through these power lines. A little thin, but a really nice view of the water there. Just awesome. Definitely thin through here. I think it was just wind blown or they just haven't had the snow really. So this section is definitely a little rough. Nice little bridge cross over here. I think we're just making our way to lunch. We shouldn't be too far now, I think, from uh, New Richmond. I think most of us are all together. I'm kind of the last one in this first group of guys here. There's another group behind me. Hopefully behind me. Trails opened up, definitely got a little bit quicker through the last uh, little bit. We had one section about 20K, I didn't really record much. It was pretty crappy, kind of low snow through the fields. It was all blown out. But uh, that last uh, probably 30K was really good. So we're just coming into New Richmond now. And somehow the group got split but ended up in the same spot. I think Chris had made a wrong turn just based on the map that we had, but it looked like there was two ways to uh, to get here through fives. Kind of confusing actually, I don't know, that was weird. But all the other guys are now in front of me, which is crazy. So that whole other group of, I think it was six of them, maybe five of them. So we'll have to see what happened. Spectacular riding the last uh, 35, 40 K from that last stop we had by the river there is unbelievable riding. Everything's fresh groom, flat as a pancake. <laughs> Ridiculous. All right, we're just coming into uh, New Richmond here. Looks like uh, O'Fair, I can't remember O'Fair something. Anyway, our lunch stop should be just up here about a kilometer. And that's uh, where my buddy Kirby's hanging out waiting for us. Nice. Beautiful. And there's my boy Randy back in front of me again. I knew we were definitely on the wrong trail because I was looking at BRP Go and it was telling us we were going the wrong way. But uh, it looks like that's where the boys must have split up. There he is. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Good to see you. Good to see you, buddy. What's happening? How you making out? Bro? I did good. I did good. They gave me a suit, or they gave me a jacket. Believe it or not, they had 50% off, 600 yeah. bucks. I got it for like 295. Yeah. Awesome. I just bought another one too. Nice. Yeah, right on. Everything good? Everything's excellent. Good. Excellent. So you guys not make, you guys make pretty good time. Yeah, we did all right. Yeah. We did all right. You got a broken spring right here, right? Yeah, this guy, this one. This one's got a broken spring. This one? Yeah. Is she bouncing around? That's why the spring is broken. We got a spring, but we got no stopper. We got the stopper. Yeah. Oh, you got the stopper? Yeah. Hey, Rodney, they got the stopper. Okay. They got the stopper. Okay, well, they got the spring. It's under the small spring. I think what you should do, that's been great. It's called James Levake. Pay for the spring and have them deliver it to the... To the hotel? To the hotel. Yeah? It will go together and it break in half. They, I guess it'll take a while to put it on, right? So. Well, you, you guys can't change it. 
We could probably do it, but it's a bunch of work. Tools. Yeah, I have some tools. Yeah. I this is our mechanic, so he he knows what to do. If, if it's got to come out. Yeah. How you doing, guys? Guys, that's Kirby. <laughs> How's it going, Rodney? Mike. Nice to meet you. <laughs> How you doing, Mike? Nice to meet you. Hey. Another Rodney. Rodney? Kirby likes to keep us the same. Uh, it when we got to for the suspension. I have I have the suspension out, right? To get it out. Yeah, that's a pain. Yeah. That's a pain. So I'm surprised the dealer here doesn't have it. He don't have it. And you you could be there in five minutes. Five minutes, five minutes, five minutes. <laughs> Who are we missing? We're missing people. Hey, we're missing a few, I think. Oh, <laughs> just a go. <laughs> I think we're missing a couple. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Where's Jeff in those? Oh, maybe not. Randy, Jeff. Hey, big I could be wrong. Are, are hard to try. Oh yeah, it's oh. hard. It's hard. You can't pass an intersection. No. You got to make sure everybody groups up. Yeah, exactly. And yeah, that's all right. I mean, for the morning, it was really tight in the mountains there, so like yeah. you got to go slow anyway. Right. But then it opened up. The last 45k was. Yeah. <laughs> gone yeah. it was yeah. great so did you, you guys, guys already eat what are you gonna do? hey i don't know what are you guys gonna do well we already ate but uh the restaurant's right there okay you got choices you got tim hortons yeah you got the restaurant yeah yeah where yeah where's the i i knew them guys were missing there's they're gone <laughs> yeah, we, we left the trail. Yeah. you got 11 here yeah yeah, we're missing. Where's Jeff? He's, he's, he's okay. Route. He's I've already communicated with him. <laughs> he followed the GPS on our VR. Oh, yeah, okay. We left the <laughs> Again. Hey, Randy. Again. <laughs> we left it yesterday and we left it today. That VR At least I don't worry about him. <laughs> it's awesome. You like it? Oh, yeah, it works good. Your Polaris one's better. Because it had it built right in. Yeah, well, I, that's why I got the Garmin on there. Oh, you got the Garmin on. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I got the. Uh, I just run my iPhones out, but that's the way to go, right? What Garmin you got in there? That's I think a, it's a Zumo XT or something. You guys need fuel? Uh, yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> so, boys, this is. You, you guys should probably eat here if you're going to eat. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. There, there's the Tim's. There's. Uh, they went the across subway. the street. Okay. Yeah, that's exactly. where I go usually across the street. Yeah. Because there's yeah. nothing. Because half of these new clubs. Was the Carlton Club open? Yeah. Was yeah. anybody in there? Yep. Yeah. Okay, there you go. I think that's where they split. Does it split there? Does five split there at the Carlton Club? I don't know. It's not the five, but they have local trails that go up in the mountain. Correct. That's where Jeff came through. That's where he went? Yeah. There's a shortcut you can do and do a bit of sightseeing in the, in the process. Maybe that's what he did. Yeah, he did, yeah. Up over top of the mountain. Down yeah, because he said, I'm way up high, man. <laughs> <laughs> up I said, are you coming? Yeah, don't worry about it. <laughs> Yeah. Is, he by <laughs> Is he by himself? Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. All right, folks. Welcome back to the trail. Just finished lunch there. Oh boy, I always eat too much. Club sandwich today, but I opted out for the fries and I went with salad instead. And now I'm on the purple machine. This thing's wicked. Switched it up with Chris. I'm gonna give him my uh, Turbo MCX for a little bit. And now we've got Kirby and the rest of uh, the crew to follow. And Kirby's going to lead. I love it. Follow that. Follow him. Follow him. Go follow him. Let's go, let's go, go, go. <clears throat> go ahead. Anyway, 
just had a great lunch stop and met up with my buddy Kirby, uh, who I haven't seen in a long time. And uh, we used to ride together way back when with him and his uh, him and his crew, with Trevor and Steve and those guys. Ten years since I've seen him, so it's really cool to uh, to see him. I'm gonna make my way through this cool bridge here. Awesome. Just wide enough for one sled, that's all you get. So I'm riding Terry Ledger's sled now. This purple machine looks so wicked on snow. Everyone loves it, it's crazy. Bone stock 900R. Anyway, so Kirby, uh, he's a lobster fisherman out here. He spends basically April to September lobster fishing, which is pretty neat. And he's got two of his uh, two of his buddies, both named Rodney, with him. So I'm just following them and the rest of the crew now. And Kirby's leading us basically to his place, which is uh, in New Carlisle. And then they're going to break off, and we're going to continue along and make our way to Chandler. So should be a good ride. They said basically the next like. The next good section is definitely all groomed up and flat and then they said it gets a little tight and twisty around from New Carlisle to Chandler. So said that will be, uh, that'll take us a little bit longer to do that section. So. <laughs> I'm pretty sure at this point Ovid realized he effed up. Beautiful view of the water down there. Amazing. That trail. Pretty cool little bridge to go over here. I think we're pretty much uh, in Port Daniel, so we just broke off, and my buddy Curb and his guys went back. And see, we're just on the ocean here. Man, is this awesome! It's beautiful. And this is actually where Kirby. Uh, He's got a boat and he runs he runs a boat for lobster fishing here. That's on the agenda for summer. Another trip to Gas Bay, but not during uh, snow season. We're going to go fishing for some tuna and some crab. Trails are pretty much in pristine condition since we left lunch. It's been really excellent riding. Pretty much 10 out of 10 everywhere. And as we get closer, there's more and more snow as you can see. All right, well, we're still on the trail, kind of making our way down five still. Uh, probably about 40 clicks from the hotel now. We're staying at Motel Fraser or Hotel Fraser. It's supposed to be a great spot in Chandler. And I uh, heard they got a good restaurant on site as well, so we're gonna check that out. Been a great day of riding so far. Uh, just honestly, the back half of the day was epic. Really good riding, especially as we got into the more snow. Kirby, buddy, great to see you. Nice to meet uh, Rodney and Rodney. These guys are great. They rode with us for a chunk of the day and turned off at Port Daniel to go home. And we're just kind of carrying on, so we'll be should be rolling in within the next uh, half hour or so. Fantastic uh, second day here in the Gaspeezy. I hope you guys are uh, kind of enjoying the ride for this one. And we shall see you tomorrow back out on the trail for day three.